proof of funds for people who still do not know proof of funds has been updated this is a very regular thing happens every single year this is called lico low income cutoff uh, six months of low income annual low income cutoff is what you are referring to as proof of funds this is the amount of funds you are expected to show for your express entry applications uh, everything else stays normal but what has happened is usually the lico amount would go up by i mean proof of funds requirement would go up by a few hundred dollars 200 300 400 this time it's almost starting at one thousand dollars and as the family size increases it goes up to nearly two thousand dollars difference between the proof of funds requirement from 2023 versus what will be required in 2024 onwards so this will take effect on the 28th of may onwards so please go into your express entry profiles uh, please update your proof of funds if you haven't done so already. This will be as per your family size. And uh, yeah, and if you don't do it, then your express entry profiles will become ineligible. Again, for people who just have more questions every single time an announcement comes up, you guys should understand that this is applicable only to federal skilled workers. Okay. If you are Canadian experience class, you do not need proof of funds. If you are that lucky bloke who has an LMIA, you do not need proof of funds if you are another lucky bloke who also has an arranged job offer which basically means you are an lmia exempt work permit in canada completing one year of work experience then you also have arranged employment if you have that clause which says this job offer is valid for one year or more uh, after you get your pr but then since you already completed your one year of work experience in canada you're cac so you do, you guys do not need to show any proof of funds also people who have received their itas and if you will submit your PR application before 28th of May, you do not need proof of funds. If you will submit your PR applications after the 28th of May, then you will need to update your proof of funds and you will need to make sure that you have sufficient proof of funds to show in your applications. I hope that clarifies. There can be no confusion. And of course, as, as usual, if uh, the documents required for your proof of funds is a letter from the bank which says this is your available funds, this, this is the account details, uh, if the bank is not going to give you the average monthly balance for six months, then you need to provide six months bank statements, any kind of credit in your account, any kind of deposits in your account, which is large in size. When I'm saying large in comparison, I mean, if it is just a couple of hundred dollars, that doesn't matter. But if it is a few thousand dollars, then you please do explain where is the money coming from, because that is the source of funds. IRCC wants to ensure that the money is not borrowed, that it actually belongs to you. That is, that is the reason why gift deeds work pretty well here because of that money is yours being gifted to you. So it works. But other than that, nothing else has changed as far as proof of fund is concerned. You have seen plenty of my previous videos. You would know what exactly that is all about. Thank you so much for joining in. It was nice catching up with you guys. Nice bringing this to you. Stay tuned and I will bring you more when I come back.